Hey, this is Barney Simon, and you're listening to The Rock Arena with Paul Null, only on 1FM 94.0. Welcome to the Rock Arena, <laughs> only on 1FM 94.0, only here on 1FM 94.0, every Monday night from 10 o'clock to midnight. And uh, yes, that was coded with cause and effect, uh, sorry, code, coded with moments of madness. Right before that, we had some altar breach with Metalingas. And yes, as I said last week, we are having a very, we have a very special show for you tonight, and we've got the boys from Coded in studio with us. Good evening, guys. Hi, how's it going? All right, yourself. <laughs> we'll get to you guys in a minute, and uh, yeah, also we've got the fairy goth mother in studio who will be uh, interviewing you guys. Uh, as you know, every week the fairy goth mother does the rock gig guide, but we are fortunate enough to have her in studio tonight with us here. Um, if you guys want to have a chat to us, if you want to get in contact with us in the studio, you can get us on our Facebook page. Our Facebook page is One FM ninety four point zero. Just give it a like, give it a share, let the people know that the best rock show is on right now in Cape Town and uh, yes you can also get us on our WhatsApp line you can WhatsApp the studio if you want to have a chat to us the number there is 72 1234 that's 72 yes and we've got Coded in the studio and uh, like I said the fairy goth mother is going to have a chat to them but first I want to say hello to the fairy goth mother how are you fairy goth mother hi Paul hello rockers welcome to your Monday night rock arena right here as Paul said on 94.0 Thank you very much for tuning in. We've got quite a show for you this evening and very excited to have the guys from Coded here with us. And we're going to be having a nice old chat about the bands, getting to know them, um, getting to know what they're about and um, really just introducing them to you guys. So, yeah. Um, so, first of all, guys, welcome to the show. Good evening. Thank, Thank you. you very much for joining oh. us. Um, and just for the listeners to give a little bit of background about the band, Coded is a Cape Town based old rock band who started by founding member Nick Bester, um, joined by Jacques Detoy, who's on drums, uh, joining us this evening, also with Carl Pretorius, guitar, and Don De Meyer, who's on bass. Um, the band delivers crunchy riffs with deep lyrics, driving Nick's vision to be SA's top alt rock band. Now, earlier this month, Coded released their first EP called All Systems Go, which has already attracted some awesome reviews. The, f uh, the EP consists of five songs, starting with Moments of Madness, which we've just listened to. Um, and yeah, we are joined tonight, as I said, by vocalist and founder Nick and Mr. Drummer Jacques Detoy. Welcome to the Rock Arena, guys. We're so pleased you're coming to the studio and joining us tonight. And we look forward to chatting with you and learning a little bit more about Coded. Awesome. Right. Shall I move on to the first question then? Yeah, go for it. Right, let's go. <laughs> um, guys, Coded recently received excellent review from SI Metal website, The Metalist. Starting with... All I can say is that it won't be long before everyone knows who Coded is. That's what the review started with. Now, what I want to know from the two of you is, in your own words, briefly describe what it's meant for you to be in Coded. Nick, obviously, you're the founding member of the band. Um, so I'm assuming it's going to be something a little bit different maybe to Jacques. But I mean, sure, I, just yeah. want brief, I just want to understand what it's... I mean, I've listened to your music. I sort of have an idea what you're about. But I want to know what it's about for you. Well, it's a labor of love, I suppose. Uh, love of, uh, for music, of course, is where everything started. Um, you know, I remember from as early as the age of, I think, six or seven years old, uh, thinking that I want to sing or in some way get involved with music, you know. And yeah. that's obviously where it started right in the beginning. But Coded itself, that uh, has been, an, it's been a long journey. We've been going on for almost five years now as a band, officially. And yeah, it's just, it's been a it's been quite a, a testing time, very difficult uh, at many times. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, I'm doing what I really love, and I'm hoping that when people hear the music, of course, uh, you know, it represents that, and, and they get to see what we're about. Yeah, for me, is for me, it's more like a um, a break away from my you know daily routine, uh, you know, sort of. If everything gets too difficult or whatever, the playing drums is the one thing that, you know, gets me laid back a bit and so forth. There's a very chill vibe in the band, but still a lot of professionalism as well. So when we play music, we uh, we sort of take it very serious. Uh, but I mean, for me, it's all about the fun and you know the passion and, and everything. Mm, definitely, and I, I definitely think it's. 
uh, that's what I've always structured it or well, tried to structure it, uh, band practice is that you come there you can kind of relax and you know de-stress to some degree yeah, and just yeah. You know, scream your lungs out, or yeah. in Jock's <laughs> case, smack the hell out of the drums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it's a healthy outlet to yeah. your passions, and you know, that type of thing. Smash it, yeah. All right, yeah, we can do that. That's <laughs> that's fine too. Now, guys, on the music website Deezer, you've listed like next to each of the five songs that's on your EP, which is obviously what we're focusing on tonight on All Systems Go. Um, you've listed the theme of your songs as. Um, the decline of a family member, about really living life to its fullest, school bullying, about social commentary at its best, and then of course time, which is a beautiful love ballad. Nick, where do you draw most of your inspiration from your songs? Is it uh, personal experiences, social themes? I mean, just give us a bit of an idea. We've obviously we've listened to moments of madness, and I think Paul's going to play oh, cause and effect for us next. But I just wanted. You know, and, and the listeners will hear as well. It's, it's all the, the songs are all pretty varied, which makes it such Absolutely. a brilliant EP. But yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, with the, with this EP in particular, um, I want to try and cover as much basis to show the the band's versatility with um, the sort of rock that we, we play. We, we're primarily an alt rock band, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think you labelled. If I can use that word, mostly as, as yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we, we we've tried with uh, with new norm to go slightly more pop rock. It yeah. still ends up being old rock in some form. But um, coming back to what you were saying about the the lyrics, uh, for me, I wanted the music that I create from this point forward to mean something. And so the, the lyrics are incredibly personal to me. Um, I, 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 I gladly talk about it. Uh, you know, for example, Moments of Madness, that, yeah. you, as you were saying, Decline of Family Member. Yeah. That actually came <laughs> on the EP, like on Deezer, for example, that was actually a mistake. It was never oh. supposed to be there. I thought it was <laughs> something because they asked for a description, but oh. I'm not knowing that it's actually meant to be like oh. if you've got a deluxe album or if it's featuring a DJ. Yeah. So, so that was actually a mistake. It wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> but anyway, that, that being said, it still represents what the songs are in a nutshell about. And Moments, for example, is actually about my mom. Um, she got diagnosed about four years ago with uh, early onset uh, dementia, which is a form of, uh, Alzheimer's is yeah, a form of yeah. dementia. And that's what Moments of Madness is about. And actually, if you abbreviate Moments of Madness, it spells mom. mom and that, that's yeah. that's oh, a little wow. bit of something special I put in there. Yeah. It was my last tribute towards her. I mean, she's still around, but uh, mine, not so much. And yeah. and if you go into the lyrics, that's exactly what the whole song's about, about me wishing if I had superpowers, I could... Yes fly through the stratosphere and, and go into her brain and remove and rip her demon and throw it back to earth and we could watch this demon burn on, on re-entry. That's just a little thing that I, when I was writing the lyrics, I was thinking I had this visualization. So for me, Moments of Madness, that's exactly what that particular song's about. But in general, I, I decided to make the, the songs be about my life. Uh, or my observations of society. Um, we're writing a new song, which is slightly more political. Not that I want to be a political band, but yeah, it's it's <laughs> yeah. definitely it, uh, yeah, it, 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 it's got some of those type of lyrics to it. But I mean, every single song has got a message, and it's a it means something, uh, something that happened to me in my life, or something that I've experienced, or you know, all of those. No, type of things. I'm glad you're saying that because I thought that for me it's a difficult question to ask, is to ask a band, you know, oh, what is the song about? Or I actually uh, was reading uh, sort of I was reading up on questions to bands and I think one of them and they were saying one of there was actually a website somewhere was saying one of the most rubbish questions to ask bands was like what do your name stands for and I was like I've got to avoid those ones but something like lyrics usually I would imagine and for me as well I've li written a couple of songs as well um, it, you usually draw your inspiration from um, absolutely I mean if you look I think at that's where your where, where your passion will shine through when it comes from that but equally sure. because it could be a personal journey uh, you know, I'm so I'm glad you said that. I didn't want to sort of go into it too much type of thing, just in case it's because it could be something personal. No, so no, look, it, it is personal. Obviously, we're not going to go into the full extent yeah. of it now. But I yeah. mean, uh, any uh, big artist or small artist, I mean, music is an outlet. So I mean, this yeah. is we use it to, and you you bring your emotions out in your music, and you bring your lyrics out. And you know, boy, and you guys do. Honestly, um, we'll get to that. But uh, for the listeners, we will let them know. Uh, when your next gig is but it's it's um, 
It's pretty special seeing you guys play awesome, live, I've got to say. So I want to go on to 2012, you guys won the Take the Stage Battle of the Bands, as well as On Class Battle of the Bands 2014. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about those experiences and what it kind of meant as a band for you to win these competitions because I mean 2012 that was early days right yeah yeah we we I think we I wasn't I wasn't even part of the no, band was <laughs> I, mean, I only early. joined them <laughs> there's actually really if we have time later on we can yeah. actually touch on that but cool. jo Jock joined us literally uh, about two weeks before the Battle of the Bands f that we did in on Class the On Class one yeah uh, so take the stage and then there was yeah, the take <laughs> the stage Battle of the Bands in 2012 and then the On Class Battle of the Bands was 2014 right yeah 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 now take the stage brilliant. That that was just uh, we just entered the competition at V&A okay. Waterfront and we got in and we're like okay great we played it definitely never thought of winning anything and it was actually one of those surreal moments later on when they announced the winner which well, yeah. obviously wasn't when we played it was uh, two weeks later and then they said that we had won and it was just like wow I, like I never ever thought that we would have been I mean I I, I think we, we we technically speaking good enough to to get those kind of acclamations but yeah. I never thought I didn't expect to win so that was really like a very big step up for us because we had I think only been a band at that stage for maybe six months so yeah. so that was that was really a great start and you know that recognition I think is what I needed at this that is stage. what I'm thinking the recognition of it that sort of like you know in you know in 2012 and then going on to 2014 you know it's and, and, and with the band still being that young as well I would have thought that you know it's um it's pretty amazing to have done that so early on in the band's career so yeah. that's really good um guys then I want to ask you something a little bit more serious I want to um ask you as a band what would you say has been some of your greatest challenges since conception and basically <laughs> How are you working towards overcoming that? I mean, I understand every band's dynamics are different, and I'm just wondering for you guys. Well, for us in particular, the road has been really tough from the beginning. Um, you know, we've actually changed pretty much every single band member except for myself, <laughs> which, oh. wouldn't have, which wouldn't yeah. have made any sense because we wouldn't be the same band if the yeah. voice was yeah, different yeah. Uh, for most parts. But yeah, that was definitely uh, by far the biggest challenge is to have gone. Th and, and in case of the, the bassist, we've been through a bassist every single year. Okay. Um, so we've been to four bassists already, and but uh, I, uh, two, we, uh, two, <laughs> two drummers. Jock is our second drummer, but yeah, through the trials and errors of yeah. of developing our sound and you know finding the perfect uh, marriage, uh, I think we're there now. I think I think we're looking good. So. Yeah, for me it was uh, very stressful in the beginning because uh, when I saw what type of level these guys are on. Um, and we just threw him in the, in the, in the deep end. Yeah, well. and I had two weeks to Before practice. Before the Battle of the Bands. Yeah, <laughs> and, and uh, <laughs> when I saw Nick, uh, you know, at band practice, everything is, is mic'd up. And uh, he told me that I should start uh, using a metronome because, um, you know, when I go on stage live, he wants everything to be nice and on time. Uh, was and that, that a compliment? Or well, actually, <laughs> in, the, I'm, I'm in the beginning, <laughs> uh, I, I didn't say a, a lot about it because I was too stressed and uh, thought I was going to say something wrong and then they tell me, Shame no, man. there's the door. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, no, at the end, uh, actually, it worked out pretty well and now I'm so used to it that, um, you know, uh, there's no other way for me to, to go on stage now. Awesome, guys. Now, um, yeah, we're going to go back, back to the music, but it is now 27 minutes past 10. Uh, yeah, we're, we're joining here with uh, Coda tonight. We've got them here in studio. Uh, if you've got any questions, you can send them via the WhatsApp line. That's 072-1234-940. Or go to our Facebook page, which is 1FM94.0. Give us a like, give us a share, and have a chat to the guys there on our posts. Uh, we're going to go back to the music now. We're going to listen a bit to the new norm from you guys. Hinder with their version of Born to be Wild. Who reigns supreme tonight? You let me know on our Facebook page. It's one of them, 94.0. Which one would it be? Is it Hinder or is it Steppenwolf, the originals? And uh, we've got a few conflicting messages here. We've got one from Gerard who said definitely Steppenwolf. His vote goes towards Steppenwolf. And we just received one on the WhatsApp line. It says there, uh, let me just find it now. Uh, Hinder did the song justice. There we go. 
So that's one for Hinder and one for Steppenwolf. But you let us know on our Facebook page, 1FM 94.0, who reigns supreme tonight in our epic rock battle between Steppenwolf and Hinder. Right now, as you heard earlier, if you just tuned in, you have uh, Mr. Incredible 44 Minutes. We're in studio here with Coded, as I promised you last week. Amazing music. And uh, the Fairy Goth Mother is chatting to her, and hopefully the Fairy Goth Mother will have an awesome gig guide for us later in the show. Um, now, Fairy Goth Mother, I'm going to give the mic over to you. Thank you, Paul. Welcome back, listeners, to your rock arena. Right, we're busy chatting to Nick and to Jacques from Coded. Um, and we were just sort of chatting about the band and giving you some background. But if you just tuned in, um, I want to talk about some interest that the, uh, that the um, EP that the guys released earlier this month, All Systems Go, it's already caught some interest from some overseas fans with, uh, from Germany, from Russia and the States. Now, guys... Um, I saw that you got yourself on the Rock Rage Radio from Los Angeles. Yeah. How did that happen? That is pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that, is, that is actually quite interesting because um, w- since we obviously launched the EP, um, you know, I'm trying to look at the outlets, uh, get our music out there around the globe, and so I signed up a uh, little uh, distribution deal that uh, gets our music to, on all the major platforms like your Deezer, Spotify, iTunes, you know, all the big ways of getting your music out there uh, online for, for downloads and streaming. Reverb, Reverb Nation. Also. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've been pushing that for a while as well. So uh, once that got out there and, you know, we started to slowly but surely get interest coming in from, like you said, from, from Germany. We had a fan that wanted to get yeah. the lyrics, so we created lyric videos and sent it back directly to her. And then the Russians that you're going to probably talk about as yeah. well, that was <laughs> really Russians awesome. Really fun, they yeah. asked us if, if uh, we didn't mind uh, letting them uh, use their music so that they can do a review uh, for their buddies that side. So I said, well, then why not send it to us and let's post it. And, and it actually would turn out to be pretty cool. Uh, but, but getting onto the radio station that side, they approached us. We, we didn't get hold of them whatsoever. So... That was really a feather in the cap, I suppose, because they thought we were good enough to play on their rock station, and that is LA, of course. And yeah. But so uh, well, that was that was really really great. We, and we were you know, very as, happy about as I said, guys, you know, you you only just released the EP this month, and I've got to come back to this to the Russians because I want to tell the listeners you've got to go to Coded's um, Facebook page, um, which is um, Coded SA. Coded. Coded yeah. Uh, coded right there we go coded essay on facebook and it's these two russian guys who's doing this brilliant i mean by the way the the the, the review was fantastic but it is so i thought it was pretty accurate it yeah, is no, so they, funny yeah eh? they really know what they're actually talking yeah, about they, they, they do they look yeah. young they do. but they, they look like they're knowledgeable about the rock scene and and they pretty much are spot on about mostly everything so yeah yeah, yeah. they mentioned alternative riffs Moving into thick bass, interesting metal riffs, excellent ballads, guitar harmonies, and all you know, all in all, just creating a really unique sound. And I really, um, I want to urge the listeners to go to your Facebook page and actually go and watch that because it is the guys were actually just quite funny as well. And I mean, who can say that their EP has been played from start to end in a Russian bar? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and again, they approached us, which was really awesome. You know, we I'm incredibly grateful for for these. Uh, you know, nods have been getting from from other music lovers, uh, which are, I mean, regardless of who they are, you know. The, uh, and then when we went through it, as as we put on the post uh, on our page, it's, it's it's raw, it's pretty much uncut. It's you know, they they uh, what you see is what you get, and that's kind of like our music. So uh, yeah, we were stoked about that. That was, yeah, that was really and good. And the fact that they just you know uh, caught interest um, in our music and. You know, we sort of made good contact with them, so we're also trying to uh, get more um, people to follow their YouTube channel. Um, yeah. yes, at this definitely. stage, they're not, you know, as they're not big. It's, yeah, it's but just a very independent thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when they're chatting to the to the barkeep to, to, to play the <laughs> next song, that I thought was quite quite good. This yeah. is what I'm saying. It's just all in all. I think yeah, we'll post the link to their um, to their Facebook page. Um, yeah, we'll post your link. Yeah, yeah, I think Paul's doing that for us now. Yeah. We'll post the link. It's it's ju- it's just absolutely funny. The guys had me in complete stitches, but they just they were actually just so knowledgeable and they knew exactly what they were talking yeah, about. That's it's not what even I was surprised about. Yeah, it's it's not even it was you know the, it wasn't even just. It, of course, it's about the music, but Nick, your vocals are international standard. 
The well, band is professional. Thank you. You're thank you for saying that. It's uh, you know I. <laughs> That in itself has been an incredible personal journey over the last four, almost five years now, where self-doubt is the biggest part of my problem because when I go and record, you know, when you're standing in front of the mic and you play and you record and you listen back, it's like looking into a mirror. There's no lying and there's no defeating yeah. if it's if, if the riff you just, or the, the vocal line you just sung sucked, it sucked, you know, and just do it again and do it again. and. And then the challenges of being in a rock band to start off with in this country mm -hmm. is, I think, a lot more than, than most people would imagine. It's, it's incredibly difficult to persevere because you just get continuously looked over yeah. and don't and get much opportunities. Yeah, I, su I, suppose, I suppose the platform, the infrastructure is not quite there for rock. You know? Yes, yeah, like the it hasn't been there. Eh? Yeah, there's, yeah, there's that, um, you know, that, that big side of the commercial stuff. And, uh, and obviously there's a, there's a good following of the, of the heavier stuff as well. You know, the, the metal scene is... The metal scene is not too big. Yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, obviously they've got uh, uh, a lot of supporters and uh, a very... Um, how can I say the community? Yeah, they've got a good community. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, yeah. being in an, especially an alt rock band, which is where we've mostly found our star, our genre, we don't fit in anywhere. Uh, <laughs> on, on the one hand, it's yeah. great because that means it makes us a little bit more stand out. We're a little bit more unique. Yeah. But unfortunately, we we tried. We 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 were involved a little bit in the metal scene to try and promote ourselves and get a couple of gigs with some of the metal bands. Yeah. But the metal fans didn't really take to us. I mean, we've got some heavy stuff, but obviously it's not all heavy, so it's not exactly yeah. metal. You know yeah. So, but we we try to also, uh, um, you know, for every genre, we sort of bring a bit out of of everything. You know, we've got a. A, so a soft side we've got a bit heavier side you know yeah. the guitars and everything and um and also my style of drumming is is also uh, you know quite versatile so i try to incorporate all the different uh, types of of styles that i've been learning over the years influences yeah, yeah. definitely right guys now talking about the influence uh, we're going to go back to the whatsapp line we've got a few whatsapp here was just fine here in a second um we've got a question here from I'm not sure who it is uh, the number ends in double three four eight and the question he posted is or he or she posted is which bands would you guys say have been your biggest influence to date this is actually quite a nice question because uh, every band is influenced by some other band or artist mm -hmm. and uh, we were just chatting about it off air. Um, obviously for each one of the band members it's, it's going to vary. I mean myself and Jock we've already got differences but I mean obviously there's your, your bands like your Papa Roach, your Linkin Park, uh, Paramore, you know in some way some form that have influenced Bush. Um, and job and then yeah and that uh, yeah on that story where that's where my influences are completely different again I mean I started off with my uh, me and my friend the, the guy uh, that messaged him from the UK we used to listen to Metallica and Nirvana Solar Chair was also a very big influence heavier stuff like uh, Testament and Sepultura very very big influence for me to some degree. Pantera as yeah. well yeah so th those were the big bands that made me um you know, get serious into uh, my drumming and, and things like that. Progress from there, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, guys, I think Paul's gonna, I think the next tune that Paul's gonna play for us off the EP is the second track called Legacy. Now, I've got to throw this curveball. We're talking about influences and sounding like. Now, I thought about James Maynard Keenan. There are versions of this song which is Tool Perfect Circle. Ah, I'm just going to put it out there, right? Well, <laughs> there are elements, especially your intro, P Perfect which circle, is yeah. your 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 legacy's intro, as the listeners will hear in a minute. It's and again, it's like the Russians were saying. I think it was Tim who said that he listened to your EP that day on repeat five times over, <laughs> and that is what is so brilliant for <laughs> well, me about yeah. the. No, seriously, yeah, that's what you want. Though. I mean, obviously, as a, as an artist, you want to you. You're putting your livelihood out there, yeah. you know, for everybody to judge and to listen. And you, but you want people to enjoy it, ideally, obviously. Yeah. So, so that yeah. was great when he said that. But yeah, I mean, uh, Perfect Circle, definitely oh one man. of my influences. Yeah. I they love the vocals. Maynard, what, yeah. so what's the vocals? I, I don't just know. Want, <laughs> I needed to put this out there and just see what your response was to that because that's dead. I was sitting there and I was like, who, who, I'm hearing something, I'm hearing something. But that is why I want the listeners, and I think, Paul, we've got a couple of CDs as well too. Um, the band has very um, graciously brought us a couple of CDs um, to give away, which I'll let Paul talk about in a minute because it is just from start to end. It is just a variety, and your vocals, 
uh, your vocals has got a variety, the music has got a variety, the riffs, it's just dynamite in a small little package, well, which is absolutely that's brilliant. Very, very kind. Paul, how are we doing? Are we gonna? Are we ready for Legacy? Absolutely. We're going to play some Legacy, followed by uh, Time from Coded, and then after that, some Shine Down, and when we come back, we're going to chat further to the guys. Enjoy. Too loud, you're too old. Welcome back to the Rock Arena, only here on 1FM 94.0. It is now five minutes past 11, and we are joined in studio with Coded. We just listened to some Shine Down with Enemies. Right before that, we had Coded with Time and Legacy, two awesome songs from their new EP. And yes, if you go to our Facebook page, it's 1FM 94.0. There is a post there where you could win one of their new EPs, a hard copy, right here tonight on 1FM. 94.0 all you have to do is go to the post that says win 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 and share the post as far and as wide as you can and you will can win a ep here tonight i will announce the winner later in the show now guys just to get back to the interview um one of my questions that i want to ask you know because the fairy godmother is busy chatting your ears off here <laughs> um <laughs> the, the name coded where did you guys come up with uh, with the name with coded look it's a uh as any band member or musician can tell you when it comes to getting serious and actually getting a name that hopefully nobody else has used before it's an incredibly difficult decision to make because not only do you have to come up with something that's hopefully unique that works with your genre music but also of course that everybody in the band agrees with uh, and at that stage we were, a five, we were a five piece and it's getting five guys to all agree about the name. Uh, the name uh, that uh, our previous guitarist, who now is no longer with us, Stefan, he, uh, he came up with the, the name Code. And I said, oh, that's not bad. You know, we all kind of like, uh, you know, went with it and like, yeah, okay. And I said, no, nah, it needs to be a little bit more special than Code. And then I came up with Coded. And it was one of those ones that stuck and everybody was happy. And, you know, we were able to go forward. But I mean, for us, you know, and for, for, for most people, we, we, we feel that uh, music is definitely coded in the band members' DNA. Uh, and yeah, that's why it just worked and it made sense. And we just thought, you know, we can actually go with that and it has a little bit of a story as well. So Short and there sweet. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, a little fun question that I want to ask you guys. Imagine you're watching a concert and one of the band members spontaneously combusts. Yeah, you get called to the stage to replace that band member. In I the want to know. Perfect scenario. Be <laughs> yes, awesome. you, will, you will know the lyrics. Now you know the lyrics. And yeah, if yeah, you're yeah. singing. You know the, the instrument. You know the instrument. You know all all the drumming. You know, like, you know who's the band and who is the band member. Over to I'll, you. I'll let you take that one. Go, Jacques. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> that's like a very I said, very random question. Yeah. But yeah, like I said earlier, <laughs> one of my biggest influences definitely Metallica. Oh. I actually learned all of their songs on drums, and uh, I never went for lessons or anything. I basically just listened to what he was doing on his drums, and I tried to copy it. And I, I was on that stage where I yeah literally could play every song, and for me it would be the best experience to you know to fill that gap. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I would go on stage. It's, it's not like he's one of the uh, the best drummers in the world, but his style oh, in the Lars, yeah, but on. his style is perfect in that band. I mean, they they couldn't find a better drummer. But the thing is, I would love to to play all their songs, you know, in his place if that <laughs> would ever be possible. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna go with Mr. Lars Ulrich from Metallica. That's it. I definitely second that. Nick? Um, that was a difficult one because, you know, I've got lots of, obviously, like Jock and everybody, I've got lots of different influences, yeah. but um, a band that I fell in love with probably about six months ago, unfortunately, they had already broken up before then, uh, is a band called Sent by Ravens, um, signed by Tooth and Nail, uh, out, uh, they're a Christian rock band, uh, exactly our kind of genre that I love. And their, their vocalist, um, uh, uh, you know, I, if, if something like that happened, I would, I mean, I don't know all the songs, but imagine I did. Absolutely, world, yeah. absolutely. I would go and 
jump on stage and, and, and front that band any <laughs> and day. And the band is called? Sent by Ravens. I'm going to check this out. Sent by Ravens is a lot of really good bands. Another band also signed to the same label. I'll tell you now. I'm just going to quickly check it out. Uh, Nick has oh. got a lot of bands that uh, not everyone knows, you know. Well, <laughs> it's, uh, I try to... I mean, if it, if it falls in line with that type of style of, of old rock, which I absolutely love, uh, and it's a band called Nine Lashes, Absolutely I'm love them. Down, their down. first their first album uh, was definitely mm. the, the World Review was my favorite album by far. Um, and uh, yeah, Sent by Ravens I think was the second full length album, which was their last album. Also phenomenal. It was just okay. I just I, I obviously love that style of music, but obviously yeah. also the, the 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 vocals needs to touch me, and and they definitely touch me in all sorts of places. So. Uh, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> It's fine, it's past 11 o'clock. Nobody's listening. <laughs> no, I just, I think it's, it's a question I came across. Paul, what about you, mate? I'm just glad at this stage the kids have gone to bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who, who, what, if, if somebody was to spontaneously combust, now, I, I don't know, my singing skills are, are, I don't know. I can't drum, can't guitar. No, but in a, in a <laughs> we're saying in an ideal world. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I don't want him to combust, but I would gonna have to say Mr. David Draymond. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, and at this point, I have to point out that I never said you had to be from the same sex. So my oh, answer right. to that question is still Linderman, and I will just leave it at that. Mm. I would love to step in <laughs> for uh, for Till on the Rammstein, but there we go. Um, so guys, you know, given that your EP launched less than a month ago, with all this amazing and inspiring feedback, you know, the, you are on the right track for becoming, if I can say, a household name nationally and, and dare I say internationally. This must all be exciting for you guys. I appreciate oh, what, yes, you, what you guys were saying about the journey and I think that's another conversation probably in its, in its own. but. This, I mean, just the fact that you guys have reached all these other countries, which is so far away from us, and it's people coming to you. Yeah, yeah that's. Yeah. that's I a mean, funny wow. That's in, that's that's the part that you know. It's for me. I think being a musician and my particular journey as the frontman vocalist, whatever you want to call it, um, recognition. Recognition is a big deal for me right now. Um, I, you know, I never aspire to become world famous or, or you know, famous in any way. I, I would just love our music to, to stay with people, sure. and not to be a flash in the pan, a one-hit wonder, you know. And and a big part of that, obviously, you know, doing tours or, or getting onto radio like now, you know, it's a big deal. Uh, maybe in a smaller sense, but um, recognition is 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 a big thing for me, and and, and I feel that a lot of the the um, what what's happening now, obviously, with uh, the response we're getting from the, the different people, you know, abroad, that is ticking the recognition box for me in a big way, which is really, really awesome. I'm very excited about that. So we're hoping it carries on that way. But I think also now with our music writing, uh, we also try and and and, and write uh, the type of um, stuff that can stick with you. You know, it's not. How can I say seasonal? You know, it's uh, something that that you would listen to after ten or fifty years. years. Or yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that's that's a very important side of us as well. You know. Yeah. Look, I mean, we're not we're not saying that we are particularly a band that's going to do this or that or whatever. We 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 permanently hopeful that it's going to go down that way. But of course, um, I think I've gotten to the point where I've told the guys that we need to enjoy the where we are right now yeah. just for, for what it is in its simplicity and um and and just hope that people pick up on on all of that as well you know and and, and as when we write the music and when we perform it you know you get to a point where you can start to feel it and we're just really hoping that that feeling carries through and people can reciprocate that back to us as well you know especially i've always said it if People in the audience start to eventually sing your lyrics, you know, however they learn it, but they sing it back to you because they love the song or they're enjoying it in that moment. That's a very special place to be. And for me as a musician, that's that's one of the things I aspire to, definitely. Um, oh, sorry. No, sorry. I just wanted to say something about that uh, that guy that um, 
commented on one of our videos and he actually did a cover on his guitar. Oh, yes. Of one yeah. of our I songs. Saw that. I saw that. That was very interesting. Was very interesting. Um, yeah, it's, didn't it? Uh, you, know. you still researched him a little bit and went onto his Facebook yeah, page. No, He's actually in in some sort of a, a hard metal or rock yeah, band yeah, or something they, overseas. I think they called Aldous Eleven or something. Yes, also quite yes, a big yes, deal yes. in the Eastern Bloc of Europe. Or, I, I don't know. There's, I think there's some from that side. Europe somewhere, yeah. yeah. And that was just very interesting because, I mean, this guy obviously picked us up somewhere, uh, or YouTube or wherever it was, and took the time and he recorded a small little video of him just jamming along doing an alternative guitar lick over what Charles was doing yeah. and um, actually really enjoyed it I thought that was really awesome yeah. now, now you know, regarding to that I always go back to uh, I think it was the first Mr. Bean movie where he had to talk about the painting and you, you know <laughs> it was actually was so, it was scene, actually though. so awesome where he just said you know uh, he was talking about the painting of Whistler's mother and he said somebody took the time to paint his mother <laughs> now the same with that guy you know yeah. that guy somebody some artist out there took the time yeah. to do a cover of you know one of your songs how freaking awesome is that yeah, yeah exactly that, that's a great exactly feeling, that's, yeah. that's 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 immediately what we felt and what we thought uh when we noticed that it popped up on on as one of the comments on the one of uh the, the streams that we had on our page and, and and i just exactly said that this guy's playing our stuff in the background he's taking the time to actually edit this little piece of video and to actually put his own little influence into one of our songs regardless of what the song is and, yeah. and, and how big we are or how not big we are. And I mean, I've, I'm Yet. I'm used to doing that uh, with, you know, with obviously the bands that I like, like or cover, listen yeah. to. Uh, I, I was spending a lot of time, uh, you know, sitting with the music and, and trying to, to learn it, this stuff and sort of put my own style into it as well. Yeah. So I know it takes a lot of time and, and effort. So that was again, you know, kind of like coming back to the Russians. It was that kind of thing where it was like, you know what, that is awesome that people have actually taken the time and thought that we were interesting enough to actually yeah. even bother, you know. So that that was great. That was always a good thing. Awesome, man. Uh, look, just on uh, 17 minutes past 11, we're going to go back and we're going to play one of Coded's last songs, uh, Cause and Effect. And remember, if you want to win one of their EPs, go to our Facebook page. It's 1FM 94.0. There is a post there that says win, win, win. If you share that you can win a uh, one of their EPs um, the album's called All Systems Go you can win that and we'll announce that later in the show and then uh, we'll come back and finish off with Coded we don't want to keep these guys too busy they still need to go back in studio and create some awesome music here's Coded with Cause and Effect followed by Foo Fighters with The Pretender man rock and roll sucks i don't know who you are i will find you and i will kill you paul nell's rock arena only on 1fm 94.0 Welcome <laughs> back. It is now 26 minutes past 11. You're tuned in to 1FM Rock Arena every Monday night from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. And if you just tuned in, we are joined in studio by Coded. And uh, yeah, you've missed a hell of an interview. If you want to re-listen to it, we are going to post it onto our Mixcloud account uh, either tomorrow or Wednesday. But just keep an eye on our Facebook page. It's 1FM 94.0. Just keep an eye on our page and uh, you'll see the post there when we... Uh, upload it um, right now guys we don't want to keep you we know you guys are busy schedule so we don't really keep you up you know till past midnight past our bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna give over to the fairy goth mother I think she's still got a question or two for you guys I certainly do thank you Paul um, so yeah guy all systems go I mean it's um, I've been saying throughout the interview it's an absolute brilliant EP, um, I was just talking to the guys um, off the air and just saying that each song is like a little journey that you go on. There's so much sort of jammed into into one CD and it's just, you, you can't stop listening to it. Um, just quickly for the listeners out there, how can the guys, um, except Paul, I don't know how the competition's doing, but if you miss that, how can the guys get hold of a copy of All Systems Go? Because I would sincerely recommend for every anybody who's you know listening to the interview either live or when they listen to it when Paul when they repost it 
just do, do yourself a favor and get to know these guys get to know their music and you can start off by buying this EP. <laughs> so where can the listeners find them well the easiest place is to follow us and come to our gigs because obviously we always have cds with us so yeah. uh, we what i've been doing lately at the last couple gigs is we'll throw out two maybe three albums uh, to the lucky people that are obviously there in, in being involved and coming to support us and just enjoying good local music and uh, but other than that of course you can make contact with us uh, via our Facebook, yeah, our Facebook page, page. we've know. got we've got, yeah, I mean we've got enough CDs with us yeah uh, absolutely as, uh, as long as somebody contacts us then we can just yeah, we can make a plan yeah, yeah. so so I mean yeah that's that's the easiest way and speaking of gigs we've our next gig is actually the 10th of March at, oh, okay. at the rabbit, rabbit hole, hole. Uh, we haven't played this since uh, I think it was October last year, uh, and yeah, so we're going to be back out there uh, and uh, making some noise. So uh, 10th of uh, of March, if you're in the March. area, come and do us a favour and yeah. come I'll make sure lend to include some support. That on my gig guide for that week, that's for sure. Guys, what is next for Coded? You guys have come, you've you've come, uh, you know, you've come a long way. You've released this EP. It's getting brilliant reviews, and it's only still. It only the, just dropped yeah. a few weeks ago. Well, uh, where are we going? We definitely are planning on a tour uh, up to Joburg. Um, when and how exactly? That's yeah. to be decided. <laughs> We may get an opportunity with uh, the festival. Oh, uh, uh, up, uh, cranked up. Cranked up. That's yes. right. Oh. Yes. So we've been, because of a potential of of a Joburg tour, maybe only next year. But um, I've been making contact with a couple of the venue owners and a couple of the the rock bands up in Joburg, so we can try and set it up. And yeah. uh, we've been, you know, the guys that we've we've uh, sent our stuff to, uh, you know, um, Spencer actually is the vocalist of Newtown Knife Gang. He manages Sundowners. Uh, in, in, in Jersey and also and they were uh, uh, we played with a few bands that actually toured down to Cape Town uh, yeah, last yeah. year and the year before and uh, yeah. so we're hoping to try and link up with some of these guys again yes, you yes. know how it goes you know you play down here you hopefully play up there with them um, and it sounds like we may have a good opportunity to get into Cranked Up so we're hoping that that happens because um, then that will still happen this year and that will be us in Joburg uh, in front of you know, a decent sized audience yeah. um, so that's the more near future obviously what's happening right now is we're not gigging extensively um, slightly more selective gigging at the moment but uh, it's because of the recording um, I'm trying to get the, the most of the vocals done for for the album which will definitely only be probably mid next year uh, but, but we, we want to writing oh no yes. well, we, we've actually already written uh, the majority of the music it's just a matter of recording now and uh, you know fini we are adding one or two songs very late in, in, the, in the whole thing but yeah we want to add our newest stuff as well as some of the of these older songs we'll put together as a full length album yeah no so. we, we definitely have some new material mm. um a lot of new material and uh yeah, I think it. Um, we're trying, we try and include the whole lot, and yeah, definitely. So that that's actually my biggest goal right now, probably for the rest of the year, is to keep the recordings happening. We just like we did here, we recorded ourselves. We we did uh, with uh, this EP uh, get the help of um, uh, Matt uh, uh, Baird is how you Matt pr Baird. <laughs> pronounce his name. Mm -hmm. he, he had his own studio in Durbanville, um, the Track Shack. And he helped us do some of the tracking and some of the production side of things. Him and, my, him and I sat down and for a long time. Yeah, and he is definitely, I mean, this guy knows what he's doing. Um, yeah, so which which is great because you know, like all the synthy stuff and the keyboards and all those type of things that are in the back of some of the songs. He helped yeah. us with a lot of that and we sat and tweaked it. But um, so we'll probably reuse his help again when it comes to those little frilly bits and the add ons. Oh, yeah, definitely. But uh, as we've done with our demo stuff before the EP, we did we tracked it ourselves we did it ourselves mix it ourselves so we're going to do very much the same thing because we know kind of what we want it to be like and sound like um but yeah that's our that's going to be my biggest focus is to try and get the album finished brilliant all right guys so you heard it there the 10th of march rabbit hole in durbanville i will remind you at the gig guide guys thank you very very much for coming into the studio tonight i am um, I think the best is probably for the listeners to head to your Facebook page. You're on Facebook, you're on Deezer, you're on SoundCloud, you're on Twitter. There's absolutely 
no excuse for anybody <laughs> not <laughs> to go on to any of yes. these. True that. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, you guys rock, and you've definitely got fans in, in Paul you. and myself for life, that's for sure. Absolutely. Awesome. Now, regarding the EP, I uh, you guys are sleeping out there. Right, so what we're going to do is with the EP that we've got here in studio from Coded, we're going to let that post simmer a little bit. Uh, now, what you need to do if you want to win the EP or one of the albums or system go, please go to our Facebook page. It's 1FM 94.0 and uh, go to the post that says win, win, win with the Coded uh, picture and please share that. Now, the person that, uh, well, not the people, the person that shares it the most, but everybody that shares that post will stand a chance to win one of the albums and then we will announce on that post who the winners are of that post. Now, before we say goodbye, goodbye to you guys, uh, you listened to the rock battle earlier. We had Steppenwolf and we had Ender with Born to be Wild. Who's your favorite? Which one do you choose? Well, normally I always go for the original. The original, yeah. yeah. But um, I was quite impressed, actually. Yeah, the vocals is great. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think the cover was... <laughs> I, no. There was something to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that's good. That's good. It was yeah. No, I, I, I would actually, for me, I would probably, probably have gone that way. Yeah, I, yeah. I tend to agree. Don't worry, it's it's normally me that get lambasted on this show if I choose the you know anybody <laughs> else other than the original. It's like oh, how can you not choose Guns N' Roses? They're the original. Guys. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. You know, it's, it's it's my preference. But listen, you guys, thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate it, and we're definitely going to be uh, you know keeping an eye on you guys thank you. as you go upwards. You know, and uh, like like we said earlier, you know, please keep us small guys in mind. You know, when you sign your international contract, <laughs> yeah. so, well, we could only hope and dream. <laughs> yes. But uh, you guys uh, started the thing we've uh, only other station we've been on so far is mfm so i mean the, you guys are the first people to really take us seriously after the ep launch and that's a big deal to us as well so absolutely we could never forget that so awesome yeah. and we definitely want to see we, we want you guys back you know just to get an update you know later in the year definitely. or i'll come to one of your gigs and we'll chat to you well, there report yeah. it We'll be there on the 10th. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the fairy godmother will be there with her hand. With her, with, with <laughs> what does the fairy godmother take to the, t <laughs> the wet wipes to wipe the faces? <laughs> That's a story for a different day. Right now it is uh, 34 minutes past 11 or otherwise 26 minutes to midnight. Um, it's uh, We went past our rock gig guide time, but I will be posting the rock gig guide to the Facebook page and the Mixcloud account and share it from there so you can guys can hear where all the rock and uh, metal concerts are happening in and around Cape Town. However, we do have some time for our cover song of the week. Difference between the cover song of the week and the uh, rock battle is the cover song of the week is a rock artist that has taken a pop or a country song or a rap song and they've turned it into their own uh, metal song. But before we play that, listen you guys, thanks very much for coming. Thank you. Yeah, it's appreciate great, having man. you guys here. Great, and uh, we'll chat you guys next time. Sure, great, Shot. definitely. Right, our cover song of the week. This is Any Given Day with Diamonds. Diamonds from Rihanna. Oh. <laughs> 